G'day everyone, Virtual Conquer 85 here, and welcome to another video on editing Zeus V11. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to improve volumetric light. As you can see, this is what you get when you uh, download the default Zeus V11. It's uh, got a lot of artifacts. The volumetric light is sort of cut off at a certain distance from the ground. And basically, I'm going to be showing you all how to improve it so you can actually get a more smoother looking volumetric light and have it going all the way to the ground. So, let's get started. Alright, so you'll need to go to your Zeus V11 folder, the one that you've been using to make all these changes. Uh, you want to open it up and go into the shaders folder and you want to open up composite1.fsh. You would also want to open up Composite 2 as well and put that in there and we'll come back to that one in a bit. Uh, there will also be a file in the description which you also need to download and open up which will give you a bit of extra code to complete this tutorial. Now I will try and do this as simple as possible and hopefully you will be able to follow along. Alright so let's get started. First we want to go down to line 70 and we're going to change all these colors here to have an alpha channel in them. All right, and you just do that by clicking in between the numbers and the RGB or RG and just putting a capital A just as I'm doing here. All right, and this will also come in handy for the next tutorial where I'll be showing you how to put in 2D God Rays. If you're interested, that is. Alright, next we need to go all the way down to line 2585. And we're going to change the void to a float. And you're also going to have to remove the in-out float color as well. Next, we're going to remove this line of code. So you don't really need it. Alright, on this line here, 2591, the increment, we're going to change that from 5 to 4. And on line 2593, the ray limit, we're going to change that from 280 to 30. Next, on line 2595, the calculate dither pattern, Sonic Ether has left it on 1, which is a lower quality dither pattern. So we're going to change that from 1 to 2. Alright, next. We're going to come down to line 26, 27, and we are going to remove this number here with the plus as well. What that is doing is limiting how far the rays will actually go down to the ground. Removing this number will actually have the rays hit the ground from now on. And we're going to change the 4 to a 2 for a bit of extra performance. Alright, so down to line 26, 54, we're going to highlight from color here. All the way down to there and hit backspace to remove it. Alright, now this is where this uh, bit of extra text, doc text document comes in handy. We're going to copy this bit of code here and paste it just in there on line 2654. Alright, next we're going to move all the way down to near the bottom on line 2979 through to 2982 we're going to highlight this and hit backspace to remove it. Lastly we're going to highlight this line here and we're going to highlight this bit from the text document provided. We're going to copy that and paste it in there just like that. Hit save and we're going to move on to composite 2 now. Alright next we need to move on to composite 2 and on line 25 we need to change the false to a true. Alright once you've done that we need to head down to line 1628 and we need to change the void to a VEC3 and we also need to remove the VEC2 cord from that bit there. Alright, next you need to highlight all of this and you're going to replace it with this line just here. Alright, 
Right, once you've done that, we need to come down to line 1636 and we need to replace the rays in this section here with the VL sample. So just double click the VL sample, go control C to copy, double click the rays and control V to paste it in. Lastly, we need to change this bit here to just a return. Uh, once you've done that, we need to come all the way down to line 1729 and you just want to highlight this bit here and paste it over the top of that one. And then once you've done that, you can hit save and we can go check it out in Minecraft. Alright, once you're back in Minecraft, you can uh, either go through and select the shaders again or you can just hit or press F3 and R at the same time and that will reload the shader. Once you've done that, you'll now have these really nice and smooth looking volumetric light which go all the way to the ground. And from some of the tests that I've uh, done already, uh, you'll probably will notice there'll be a bit of a frame rate increase as well by about two to five frames. So yeah, if you want to actually increase the amount of volumetric light that's quite easy to do as well so back in composite2.fsh you can uh, change the return ray color here uh, I'd probably recommend something like a 5 there instead so you can hit save quickly come back in and you can reload the shader and this will give you stronger volumetric light So there you go, hopefully that wasn't too hard for you at all to follow. If uh, you've done this correctly, you'll now end up with these really nice volumetric light coming through. If this uh, video was any use to you, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye.